Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today, in this video, we will learn about CQRS design pattern for the microservices. I'll explain what is CQRS design pattern, where to use it, and what are the advantages of this pattern. I'll also give you the real world example of this pattern. So stay tuned it is going to be very exciting and there is a lot of learning in this video friends in the previous video we discussed about shared database per service design pattern can you explain what is shared database per service design pattern all about provide your answer in the comment section of this video if you have not seen that video so please go and watch that video the link is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. There's no agenda here. Friends, so here is the agenda of this video. I'll give you introduction of CQRS design pattern. Then I'll also give you the real world examples of CQRS design pattern. Then we'll see how and where to use CQRS design pattern. We'll understand the scenarios where CQRS design pattern is the solution. Then we'll understand the benefits of using CQRS design pattern in our project. Then I'll summarize what we learn in this video and then briefly we'll touch upon the next video in this series. So stay tuned and do watch this video till end. It is going to be exciting and there is a lot of learning in this video. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow our Code One Digest family. Thank you. Let's begin, shall we? Okay friends, so now let's start with the CQRS design pattern. This is the third design pattern in database design pattern category. The CQRS stands for the command query responsibility segregation. This pattern separates the command and the query operation on the databases. You can use the CQRS pattern to separate your read and write operations. Use CQRS pattern if there are different performance requirements for the throughput, latency, and consistency for your read and write databases. Use CQRS design pattern to avoid complex query like inefficient joins, etc. So, in monolithic application, most of the time we have one database, and this database should respond both the query and update operations. That means the database is doing both the jobs that is working for the complex join queries and also performing the CRUD operations. The database is doing the dual job for you like working for a complex join queries also performing the CRUD operations for you. But if the application goes more complex then this query and the CRUD operations will also going to be unmanageable. Hence use the CQRS pattern in Microservice architecture that gives us the flexibility to scale up, scale down as per your read and write operation requirements. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Good plan. Good talk. All right. Let's further understand the what is CQRS design pattern says. So let's understand the problem first. If application required some query that need to join more than ten tables. This will log the database due to latency of the query computation. Also, when the application performing CRUD operations, we would need to make complex validation and the process long business logic. So this will cause a lock database operation. This will create deadlock or increase DB response time. So what is the solution to this problem? The solution to the above problem is CQRS design pattern. This pattern offers to use separation of concern principle and separate reading database and writing database with two different data storage. In this approach, we can even use different databases for reading and writing database type like using NoSQL for the reading and using relational database for the CRUD operation. 
So we can say that CQR separates the read and write into different databases. Command performs update data, query performs the read data. When we separate read and write databases in two different databases, so we need to consider syncing two databases in a proper way. We should sync these two databases and keep syncing always. We can sync two databases using event-driven architecture. According to event-driven architecture, when something updates in write database, it will publish an update event with using message broker system. And this will consume by the read database and sync data according to the latest changes. But this solution creates a consistency issue because we have implemented async communication with the message brokers. The data would not be reflecting immediately. Mostly, security design pattern is used with the event sourcing design pattern in event driven architecture. This is called as eventual consistency. The read database eventually synchronizes with the write database and it can take some time to update read database in the async process. Let me explain it to you so you'll understand. Friends, now let's understand CQRS design pattern with a real world example. If you see in the example that is shown on your screen, we are using NoSQL data storage to optimize the write operation throughput and provide flexible querying capabilities via RDBMS. This achieves high writing scalability on workload that have well-defined access pattern when you add data. A relational database provides complex query functionalities for data syncing between database storage. DynamoDB stream sends data to Lambda function that updates the Aurora now, table. Now, let's understand CQRS pattern with another example of Instagram media sharing platform. Instagram database architecture is so popular in microservice architecture discussions that we should know what is the design. Instagram basically uses two database system. One is relational database that is Postgres SQL database and other is NoSQL database that is Cassandra database. So that means Instagram uses NoSQL Cassandra database for the user stories that is read incentive data and using relational Postgres database for user information and bio updates. This is one of the example of CQRH approach. And we already know how efficient is the Instagram platform. In the back end, these two databases are working and we hardly see any delay or latency while playing the videos. Right? Oh, wow. That is really, that's amazing. Okay, friends. Now let's see some of the use cases of this design pattern where and how to use this design pattern in our project. So use this design pattern when you want to separate out your read and write operations or whenever you have separate read and write microservices. Use this pattern when you want to achieve separation of concern as you are separating the read operation with the write operations. Use this pattern when you want to scale the read and write databases independently, separately. Use this pattern when you have very high volume of read and write operations so that you can manage these two operations independently. Really? Really? Friends, now let's see some of the advantages of this design pattern. What advantage do we get from CQRS design pattern? When we separated the read and write databases, it means we can scale them independently. Hence, CQRS offers us that flexibility to scale up and scale down these two different databases independently. The read side can use the schema that is optimized for query, while the write side uses a schema that is optimized for the updates. Security is another advantage that we get. It is easier to ensure that only the write domain entities are performing the writes on the data. We also get benefits of separation of concern where we segregating the read and write sites can result in a model that are more maintainable and flexible. Most of the complex business logic goes into the write model 
the write model can be relatively simple the read model can be relatively simple simple queries is another advantage of this design pattern by storing a materialized view in the read database the application can avoid complex join when querying the data though we have this many advantages with cqrs pattern they are few downside of this design pattern as well this design pattern requires data syncing solution from write database to your read data storage this additional step increases the complexity of your solution right you're goddamn right okay friends now let me summarize what we learned in this video i gave you introduction of cqrs design pattern then we saw the real world example of cqrs design pattern we also saw what are the use cases of this design pattern in which scenario we can use this design pattern how can we apply this design pattern in our project in which scenario we can use this design pattern then we also saw the advantages of using cqrs design pattern in our project right what? I can I I do I do not understand right so friends let me know if you have used this pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be very useful so please provide your answer in the comment section of this video friends in the next video we'll discuss about event sourcing design pattern we will learn what is event sourcing design pattern then i'll give you the real world example of event sourcing design pattern we'll also understand the use cases of event sourcing design pattern and we will see the benefits of event sourcing design pattern so stay tuned for the next video and keep watching code one digest if you are new to the channel so do subscribe to our channel to grow our code one digest family i understood the assignment friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you